Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai immigration matters yet again. We're discussing it specifically in the context of this COVID-19 air lockdown, if you will. So basically the borders are closed. It's, really, it's pretty much not possible as of the time of this video to enter Thailand. But announcements have come down specifically from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that there will be some easing, most notably for those who hold Thai work permits to enter the Kingdom of Thailand. Although the exact regulation as promulgated and published presumably in the Royal Gazette remain to be seen. We will update you as things progress, but for now, based on the information we have at hand, we're making this video to provide some insight for folks, at least for the foreseeable future moving forward. In a recent article from the Bangkok Post, that's bangkokpost.com, article is titled, Work Permit Holder Boost, But No News for Separated Families. Quoting directly, the foreign ministry has informed Thailand's foreign chambers of commerce that foreigners who have work permits or permission from Thai government agencies will soon be allowed to enter the kingdom. Quoting further, it also requires a valid health insurance policy covering all expenditures for medical treatment, including COVID-19, worth at least U.S. worth at least U.S. 100,000 or 3.2 million baht. So there is a, an insurance requirement that's going to be part and parcel of getting into Thailand under the current circumstances. So I foresee this sort of limited lockdown, if you will, or this limbo period, whatever you want to call it, probably lasting at least the next four, possibly the next six or eight weeks as Thai officials are bringing the country back online after this COVID-19 thing. And they're trying to create a system in the aftermath which handles the overall issue but permits people to enter the kingdom. In the interim, we have this very limited subset of folks that may be eligible for re-entry into Thailand if they have a work permit, or I should say that's what's been announced. But understand, there's more than just the work permit. Even a visa isn't enough. We've made videos on this already. There's certificates of re-entry that are associated with this. As noted in this video, we've got insurance requirements. There's also a fit to fly certificate, which we get into in another video we made contemporaneously with this one. It's not just a matter of having a work permit and a visa. There are a number of documents that are gonna be necessary in order to get into Thailand in the forthcoming weeks and possibly months. The, the thing to take away from this video is insurance is going to be one of the requirements for those coming in, at least for the foreseeable future. Something else to keep in mind, I've discussed this at length, and there are many who sort of take offense that I even talk about it, but I do think that especially for retirees and possibly even those married to Thai who have non-immigrant visas here in the kingdom, I think it, especially in light of the COVID-19 developments, I think it is increasingly likely that insurance may turn out to be just a general requirement that, is, that goes hand in, hand in glove, if you will, with respect to the overall visa application process. So I think those entering the kingdom in the foreseeable future may have to deal with insurance regardless of the fact that this COVID-19 issue may have abated. 